Good morning, folks. Starting off with a cornerstone of thermodynamics potentially set to walk the plank. Apparently, it's not just the Middle East in an uproar. Aussie Muslims are protesting as well. Gotta wonder if this child even understands the sign that they're holding. Staying down under, Queensland beaches will be patrolled by drones this year. They promise not to violate your privacy. This is the view looking south from Japan's southernmost islands. The waves are a result of approaching Typhoon Sanba. The extended spiral arms are over 4,000 miles end to end, and the winds inside the cyclone are still pushing 150 miles an hour. There's nothing we can do at this point, just hope for the best. Copy and paste that same sentiment here. The Canary Islands averages a few small tremors per day, maybe 10 or 20 in an uptick. But since September 14th, there have been at least 288 earthquakes in the region, and that was at 4.30 a.m. My Canary quake list has become a bit too long to handle. Nibiru! No, I'm just playing. I was asked if this is Nibiru. It is Venus. I have once again provided the link to Stereo Planet Finder so you can know what's visible on those satellites. Coming over to the solar wind, orange, the density, slightly stronger, while the yellow, the speed, slows a bit. The most notable space weather conditions as of right now are a 16 MHz F2 critical frequency with a high total electron content just off Sumatra. You remember a few days ago this filament eruption blocked by the SDO eclipse, and you remember both NOAA and NASA charted that glancing blow here on the Enlil spirals. That's set to hit today. Expect only minor impact. Another thing huge and change-wise on the Earth footprint, still connected mostly around the back, but that first connection is now linked to the Earth-facing sunspots. That's them, brightly on the south in the center, surrounded by the big dark coronal holes putting out strong, fast solar wind streams. Still got that big filament coming in from the left on the equator as well. For those following the planets, in four days, Venus will heliocentrically conjoin Jupiter, one day later, there will be a geocentric opposition of Mercury and Uranus, followed a day later by the heliocentric conjunction of Mercury and Saturn and Venus and Ceres. That was for you, Mr. Gerald. Here are a few more lineups we have on the horizon. Eyes open. It's just before 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's the news. Be safe.